No one has the right to tell you or give you value. You already have value. It's a value that you believe you have that is your power. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing well. Thought I'd dress up for you guys in this video today. <laughs> so today we are talking about how to become an excellent woman. Okay, this year is all about leveling up again, leveling up times two, and all the leveling up that you can ever do in your life takes place in here. Okay, so this is all about mindset. I am going to talk a bit about appearance but you know on this channel we keep it strictly internal and in the mind that's exactly why i created a second channel called all things brini and then i'm going to talk to you guys about beauty fashion makeup hair etc 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 you guys can also level up your look as well so over the years i can say that i definitely evolved to be a woman of excellence and i can say that proudly and boldly because i remember the times that i used to think like a little girl okay i'm so 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 happy about the woman that i have become i am currently 30 years old and enjoying every day of it and i want to talk to you guys about becoming an excellent high value woman and so i think i have about 12 to 13 points that i kind of want to touch on i'm going to try and talk in as much detail as i can so how do i help you become an excellent and high value woman these are the traits i would say of a high value value woman i know that i'm gonna definitely have to do a part two comment below if you do want a part two this list is not exhaustive but i find that these points are what i value in a high value woman a high value excellent woman has self love i think this is the bedrock of being a confident woman and a confident woman loves herself so she does not care who does not love her okay and self-love is not vanity self-love is not self-care self-love is not putting cucumbers in your eyes and having self-care saturdays i do all of the above however self-love is actually a form of self-respect which is actually my second point but self-love is being content and happy with yourself this does not mean mean that there aren't things in your life that you want to change. This also doesn't mean that you like everything about yourself. So I think a lot of people get a wrong idea or maybe some people have tried to twist what self-love is. Self-love is actually loving yourself enough to accept yourself for who you are right this moment. Self-love is being able to look yourself in the mirror, dead in the eye and genuinely like yourself genuinely like the person that you are and self-love goes beyond the aesthetic it goes beyond what you do for a living it goes beyond how much money you make self-love is really loving the parts of you that make you who you are if you don't believe that you have self-love or you're struggling in that area i encourage you to write a list of all the things that you like about yourself for some people this may be very very difficult but you can do it okay take as long as you need but i want you to write down everything that you like about yourself does not include your physical appearance and does not include your accomplishments in life we are talking about you not what you look like and not what you do that's your exercise write down all the things that you like about yourself that makes you 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 may have to remember compliments to how people have complimented you but it has to be true to you if someone complimented you and said oh i love how kind you are but you don't think you're kind that is just an act you can't necessarily truly write that down so write down what is true for you okay a high value excellent woman loves herself my second point what goes with self-love is self-respect she respects her time she respects her energy she respects her body she respects her mind so she does not watch things listen to things that are disrespectful to her right disrespectful to her temple disrespectful to her mind disrespectful to the way that she sees herself an excellent woman is very very careful what she lets in 
her ears and what she lets in her eyes. She's not just opening herself up to everything. She's not at every party. She's not at every event. She's very selective with who she spends her time with. She's very selective where she goes out, who she goes out with. You are not going to find an excellent woman everywhere. Excellent women are focused, right? Focused on what they are doing with their life. And when you respect yourself, when you're a woman that respects yourself, you respect your time. Time is very, very important. And you may often hear an excellent woman say, I'm busy. I'm so sorry. I'm busy. There's certain conversations. There's certain people that I can't spend a long time on the phone talking to, no matter how much I love them, because I know that they want to call me and do kiki, ha, ha, ha. And there is a time for that. Preferably Saturday evening, you can call me, you can come over to my house. I'm not going to spend hours during the week talking to you. I don't have time. I respect my my time and I need you to also respect my time too. Thirdly, a high value woman has self-esteem and I will say this until I'm blue in the face and I wholeheartedly believe this. How you see yourself affects every area of your life, okay? We see out of our own eyes, okay? We see from the inside out. We do not see the world the way the world is. We see the world the way we are, okay? So if you think you are ugly, you are ugly. If you think you're beautiful, you are beautiful. That's your self-estimate and nobody, nobody can tell you you are a five, a four, an adjustable six. No one has the right to tell you or give you value. You already have value. It's a value that you believe you have that is your power. So an excellent woman has self-esteem. I would say high self-esteem and she's still working on her self-esteem. You could have high self-esteem one moment, then you get into a bad relationship and all of a sudden that self-esteem that you thought you had has been knocked, right? I believe in bending but not being broken, right? That toxic relationship could have bent you out of shape but he never broke you, right? Because you're here and you're watching these videos and you're wanting to grow and you're doing self-development and you're working on yourself. An excellent woman has high self-esteem and she works on it every single Day. Number four, an excellent woman has a story and she has a story of triumph, okay? Nobody in this world is exempt from trials, okay? Life happens to us all. And if you can come out of that test with a testimony, you have won. An excellent woman is not a person that hasn't gone through anything in life. It's a person that has gone through life, been able to take the lessons and been able to take the stones that people threw at her and build something great. A high value woman has a story to tell and that story does not disqualify her. It actually makes her more interesting. Number five, a excellent woman, a high value woman is self aware. She's able to take personal accountability. An excellent woman does not blame others for her mistakes. Even if it wasn't entirely your fault, an excellent woman takes the L's and she learns from them. And I know a lot of men like to joke and say accountability is like kryptonite for women. They don't like taking accountability, but I beg to differ. What stops women from taking accountability sometimes is actually shame. It's hard to take accountability when you feel shame about something, when you genuinely feel like it's your fault. But accountability isn't saying, I'm to blame. It's taking responsibility for your part that you've played in it. Even if it's only a 4%, you're going to own that 4% and you're going to take the responsibility upon your shoulders because you're a big girl. You're not a child. Children hate taking accountability. Children hate taking the blame. But when you become a woman, especially if you're working in business and if you are working as part of a team or you manage people, there's going to be times when you're going to have to say, I was wrong. Okay, this does not make you a bad person. This makes you human. And a humble person can take accountability without taking the shame that comes with it. Talking about shame, number six, a high value woman is honest and she is transparent. It is very difficult to be open, honest and transparent when you feel shame about something. I am a believer. I believe that my past is forgiven. I believe that anything 
anything that's that, that's gonna happen from this point onwards, I will be forgiven. If I hurt someone, I can apologize. If I made a mistake, I can accept that. If I did something that I'm now currently ashamed of, I can own it and say, my bad, that's not who I am anymore. But when you are still stuck in your shame, it is very, very difficult to be open, transparent, and honest. An excellent woman is open and honest. And it's a difference between being transparent and being honest. Honesty is given when someone asks you. A transparent person is you can already see through them. They live their life open. Number seven, a high value woman is caring, right? She has a soft nature and she is nurturing and you do not need to have children in order to be nurturing right you don't have to have children to be soft and gentle and calming in a safe place and children love her children genuinely love high value women they are drawn to her because of her warmth and we know that children are more spiritually sensitive than humans that's what i believe and so when you see children gravitating to a certain person or a certain and woman that's a high value woman she has a gentleness about her a softness about her it's not all business 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 it's not all work 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 it's not all hard 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 she has a gentle nature about her number eight a high value excellent woman is healed and is still healing there's always going to be things in life that hurt us that wound us that bruise us try to break us and an excellent high value woman understands this she's not shocked when these things happen. She doesn't anticipate these things, but she does expect it when it comes. So she's not easy to just fall apart and be like, woe is me, I can't do this anymore. She expects these things to happen as part of life. So she's always in a state of healing. She's always in a state of being healed. And she's always in a state of mending her wound, right? She's always in a state of tending to the parts of her that hurt. So she doesn't bleed on people that never hurt her. Number nine, a high value woman takes care of her temple, okay? She always looks put together, even when she doesn't feel like it. She has clothes in her wardrobe that match and go together. She does not have to be rich to be able to have a quality wardrobe, things that look nice, that are in good condition. She knows her body type, she knows her style, she knows how to put together things, so it expresses who she is on the outside. People People should be able to look at you and by the way that you dress be able to tell what type of person you are there's nothing wrong with being sexy there's nothing wrong with being sensual on occasion but every day you're telling people who you are an excellent woman gets her hair done regularly she wears protective styles when her hair's not done she knows how to do her makeup she's learning tips and tricks she's not blaming i don't have money or i don't have this i don't have that she's being resourceful excellent women are resourceful they use what they have they do what they can with it an excellent woman respects her body respects herself and it shows by the way that she carries herself by the way that she dresses by the way that she is addressed okay and if you guys do want tips on how to i guess dress the outside to look better to look more presentable to look more beautiful make sure you guys follow my second channel all things Brini. There's going to be a lot more content coming on there as well. It's kind of a behind the scenes look of my life and the things that I love and the things that I love that aren't necessarily internal. They're actually external. So make sure you guys check out that channel for more tips. Number 10, a high value, excellent woman is warm and bubbly. She has a sense of humor and she isn't so uptight. She is a serious woman, do not get her wrong, but she does not take herself too seriously all of the time. Ladies, you have to learn to be able to laugh at yourself. My grandma would always say, if you don't laugh, you're gonna cry. And I literally live by that. Life does not have to be serious all of the time. Sometimes lighten up and have some fun. Number 11, she is independent, okay? And this word has got a really, really bad rap, especially for certain people on the internet, especially for certain men on YouTube, but I don't care. This is my channel and I'm speaking to women. I'm not speaking to men, okay? We don't care over here. To be independent means you are not reliant on anything 
anybody to live. You are not borrowing money from your mother. You are not spending your paycheck in week two when you don't get paid until week four. You are never down to your last dime having to borrow money every single month because you are a wise woman who has savings, right? Savings are for a rainy day. You don't spend all of your money and you don't spend all of your savings. That's not excellent and that is not why. An excellent woman has a job or she is in school or she is looking vigorously, intentionally for a job. She's not sitting there blaming the world for where she is at currently. She takes accountability for her actions. She takes accountability for her life. She is working very, very hard at her job just in case there is a promotion coming up. She wants her name to be at the top of the list. And even if it's not her dream job, she is still working hard until she finds that dream job. An excellent woman is excellent no matter where she goes. She's not saying, oh, I hate this job. I'm going to show up late. They don't deserve my time. They don't have that attitude. An excellent woman is an attitude first. An excellent woman makes sure that her bills are paid on time. They are not living above their means to impress people that don't care about them. Ladies, if you have a car or anything that you are constantly late to pay for, I'm sorry, but this is a reality check. You cannot afford it. And that is perfectly okay. Be honest with yourself and be honest for where you're at. There's so many things in my life that I was not able to do years ago. And I was totally fine with that. I worked my ass off until I was able to afford it. I was able to afford to travel. I was able to afford the car. I was able to afford the luxuries that I have in my life. There's a time and a season for everything. If you are killing yourself every single month to pay for something, you cannot afford it. Everything that I'm able to pay for, including my house, is easy, right? I don't miss the money when it comes out. I'm not tracking or checking anything. And of course, there are certain things that I do want to buy, like a new car that I know that if I was to buy it now, I will be checking for that money. So I know that there's time, hopefully by the end of the year, there's going to be a time that comes when I'll be able to afford that car easily. And that's what I'm looking forward to. But I'm not going to buy it and have it be a burden on my life. That is not excellent. An excellent woman does not live above her means. And you really got to know when it is and is not your season. Talking about being an independent woman, okay? Excellent women are not waiting on a man as a meal ticket. An excellent woman is not trying to scare and thought and finesse men. Hello? She's not looking for a rich nigga eight figure. She's looking to become that rich, rich eight figure nigga. Number 12, an excellent woman is teachable, okay? She has mentors, whether they are online or offline. She is constantly learning because she constantly wants to evolve and become better, okay? Women that are not humble would never be able to watch my videos, would never be able to do self-development, would never be able to learn from from a mentor or someone older than them because they think that they know, okay? Excellent women are humble enough to learn and to glean from whoever, okay? Wise women are able to take advice or take the wisdom, even if it was coming from a five-year-old child. They're not gonna question, oh, why is she telling me about relationships? She ain't got a husband. Why is she telling me about this? She ain't got this. That's not the attitude of an excellent woman. An excellent woman can learn from anybody because at the end of the day truth is truth no matter who's saying it an excellent woman is not too proud to seek more knowledge and finally number 13 an excellent woman a high value woman fears the lord okay proverbs 31 30 says favor is deceptive and beauty is vain but a woman that fears the lord shall be praised. Any woman that is not submitted to God is a woman that is a law unto herself. And that woman is dangerous. Do you know why? Because her mind is changing every season. Every time something's popular online, she runs with that. Anytime someone says something, she's like, yeah, I agree with that. But then someone else opposes it. It's like, oh yeah, I agree with that. A woman, a woman that does not fear the Lord is unstable. And it's difficult to follow somebody that is unstable in that. 
right? My fear of God keeps me stable in my values. There's just things that I just won't do. There are things that I just won't say. There are places I just won't go. Not because I fear man, not even because I fear the law, because I fear the Lord, okay? And that woman is excellent. She is beautiful. She is high value and her praise comes from God first, okay? She's not out here trying to get praise from this guy, that guy, this girl, that girl. Her praise comes from above and she's content in that, okay? The word fear is not to be afraid of God. The word fear is to be reverent. You respect God. You respect the Lord, okay? All right, guys. So that is my 13 character traits of a high value, excellent woman. I do feel a part two coming along. Let me know what you guys thought of this video. Make sure you guys give us a like, comment below, share your thoughts and feelings. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.